Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Chris and today we are talking about application performance analysis with the GNU profiler GProf. So what exactly is GProf? GProf is a free profiler from GNU. It provides you with a simple way to analyze the runtime behavior of your application. All you need is a source code. For example, it can determine where most of its execution time is spent. Therefore, you can locate code regions which are well suited for optimizations. It can also analyze the connections between the individual functions, which helps you in understanding your code. GProf is part of the GNU binutil suite and supported by various compilers. It's available as open source and therefore almost everywhere. GProf works for several programming languages such as C, C++, Fortran and even Pascal sources. Let's start with a very simple example in the Pascal programming language. I'm using here the greatest common divisor algorithm, in particular its binary variant. The implementation uses a helper function called isEven, which determines for a given number whether it is even or odd. The actual implementation of this binary GCD uses this helper function to compute the greatest common divisor of two given integers. Since the implementation is pretty fast, I'm calling it here 10 million times from within the main program. In order to compile and link the source code, I'm using here the free Pascal compiler. Enabling profiling is done with the option minus PG. This will give me an instrumented application, which I can now run with some representative input. The result will be written in a new file gmonout, which contains the information on the runtime behavior of my application. First, I'm creating a flat profile using gprof. This will show us how much time is spent in each function and also how often each function was called. On the right side, we see all the different function names. In the middle, how often they were called. For example, the binary gcd function was called 10 million times. On the left side, we see the amount of time that is spent in each function. Our helper function is even consumed approximately 80% of the total running time. Another thing we can do with gprof is the so-called call graph. This will show us which functions called each other and also again how many times. On the right side we again see all the different function names. Each function gets an index on the left side. Before each function name we see from where it was called and after each function name we see the other functions it called. For example, the binary gcd was called by Pascal main and called the helper function is even. It has the index too. Last but not least, we can annotate our source code. However, we have to add the option minus "-g", at compile time, to get the line information. Now we create our annotated source with gprof, and it will show us all the different source lines, and on the left side we will see numbers representing how often this function was called. In our case, the helper function is even was called 230 million times, the binary gcd function was called 10 million times, and the main function was called only once. Our first real world example comes from the field of biology. It is called MergeMap. The MergeMap application constructs consensus genetic maps from a set of individual genetic maps. When we look at the source code of MergeMap, the file endings indicate to us that it is written in the C++ programming language. Therefore, I'm choosing here the free GNU C++ compiler. 
The application uses a makefile to be built. We can therefore set environment variables to the appropriate compiler and flags. Enabling profiling is done with the option minus PG. After building the application, which takes a short while, we can now run it with a prepared test input. Afterwards, we can use gprof to create a flat profile. Although we can see here lots of functions, almost all of the time is spent in just a single one. 98% of the total running time is consumed for finding shortest paths. We can also create a call graph of merge map using gprof. At first, this textual representation might look a little bit difficult to read. But once we get it visualized, it gets much more easier to comprehend. Another real-world example is called MCL. It stands for Markov Cluster Algorithm, which is a fast and scalable cluster algorithm for graphs. When we look at the source code of MCL, we see it is written in the C programming language. I'm using here now the commercial Intel C compiler. As the application uses normal configure make make install steps, I can again use environment variables to set the compiler and flex. Don't forget the option minus PG to enable the profiling. Now I can configure the application, compile it and finally link it. Once the instrumented application has been built, I can run it with a prepared input graph. I'm using here 24 threads to cluster this input graph. This will take approximately 2 hours on a machine with 24 processor cores. Once the graph clustering has been completed, a gmon out file has been created. This contains the runtime information, which I can now use to create a flat profile of MCL using gprof. We can see here that the two most time consuming functions are sparse vector operations, making up approximately 80% of the total running time. As you should know by now, we can also create a call graph of MCL. This can give us, for example, a structural impression of the main MCL algorithm. Our last application in today's row of real-world examples comes from the field of engineering. It is part of the Bicker simulation suite APES and is called Musubi. Musubi is a multi-level lattice Boltzmann solver which scales to thousands of processes using MPI. A quick look at the source code of Musubi shows us that it is written in the Fortran programming language. I'm choosing here the commercial Intel Fortran compiler together with the Intel MPI library. Don't get confused by the slightly different names of the application specific variables, just remember the profiling option minus PG. The Musubi application configures and builds in just one step using this WAF script. This whole process will take several minutes to complete.
Once it is done, I'm setting here some application specific parameters before I can eventually run this instrumented application with 8 MPI processes using MPI exec. This example simulation finished after approximately one and a half hours. As usual, we will first take a look at the flat profile of our Musubi run. It spent half of its total running time on computing auxiliary fields. We can also generate and try to understand the textual call graph of Musubi. However, for such complex applications, this can become quite challenging. I will therefore complete this GPROF tutorial with a small bonus. The promised bonus is an extra tool named gprof to dot for visualizing call graphs from gprof. This does however not work out of the box like gprof itself. We will need Python and we have to install a package called graphviz first. Afterwards, we can install the gprof to dot tool using pip install. I will now visualize the call graphs of all presented applications. This can be done in three simple steps. First, we generate the gprof output from an instrumented application run. Second, we pipe this textual output through the new tool gprof to dot. And last, we pipe this output through the dot tool from the graphis package. I'm choosing here the PDF vector format as the type for the resulting image. This visualization of the merge map call graph is shown here. I'm repeating now the same three steps for the threaded clustering application MCL. By the way, specifying other output types such as JPEG or Ping raster graphics formats would work as well. Interestingly, we can also see here on the left side which functions were executed by threads because they have no connections to the main function. Last but not least, we are similarly also visualizing the MPI parallel Musubi application. We can, for example, follow here on the left side the execution path from the main function down to the time consuming computations of the auxiliary fields. In summary, GProf is a free and pretty easy to use profiler. It is supported in several programming languages. We have seen it here for C, C++, Fortran and Pascal. You have to remember to add the option minus PG at both compile and link stage. GProf works with various compilers. I've demonstrated it here with free GNU and commercial Intel compilers. GProf has a low overhead, yet you still get very good first insights into your application's runtime behavior. Although it was originally intended for sequential applications, it also pretty much works with parallel ones. We had MCL, which used 24 POSIX threads, and Musubi, which used 8 MPI processes. However, since there is only one Gmon out file, there is no differentiation of the individual threads or processes. GProf can create flat profiles, which is probably the most important part, but it can also create call graphs and it can annotate your source code. Altogether, GProf is a good starting tool
for doing performance optimizations. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.